Thanks, dirty boy. All right, so what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And I'm gonna show you how I do groundwork with my So, we're gonna go in the round pen today and have fun, huh, Max? First bit, you need to be brushed off because you're really dirty. Bye. Disclaimer, I am not the most amazing trainer in the world. I know this. Um, I'm still learning. I'm new to all this stuff. So uh, please be nice to me. And um, not all these things will work for your horse because every horse is different. They have different mindsets. It won't work for every person. People like different things. So just keep that in mind while you're watching this. And... Um, yeah, I apologize for going like this so much because it's annoying to me. So it's probably annoying to you. Let me know if you guys would like uh, what I want for Christmas video because I've had a couple people request it on Instagram and a people and some people commenting asking for it. Oh, sad. Um, oh, <laughs> the cat was in here. Sorry, distractions. So let me know if you guys would actually like that because I love watching those videos and it can help give you guys some ideas of what you want for Christmas. And I look like a hobo today. I've got my sweatpants on and it's great. Oh, Max. Hi, you're so cute. You're so cute. Ow. I'm gonna go grab his halter and we will start out by lunging him a little bit just for funsies. Also, Max and Hidalgo ripped open their automatic waterer yesterday. Most of this is pee, but it also kind of like mini flooded. So this is all still wet. The halter I've been using lately is this one. It's off of Instagram. It's CW Equines, but it's a four knot halter with side poles. And it's stiff and it's really nice. And they are more affordable than lots of brands. So. I suggest to buy one of these. It was $20 with $5 shipping, so it makes it $25, which was not bad at all. So we'll see how he acts. Because you're being a little naughty. So this is the halter on him. As you guys can see, the knots are right there in their in the little side rings. And it did come with like a quick tie thing, but I don't use that. First off, the very first thing I do when I'm working with my horse um, I'm in an area where the ground is pretty soft. We have a bunch of sand out here, like what's in their stalls. So first of all, I use this bigger buggy whip, I think is what it's called. And I use this to desensitize them to it. He's already desensitized to it, so he could care less about what it's doing. He, you get them to a point where you can smack the ground and they don't care. Because the whip is not used to hit them. It's a tool um, to extend your arm, to extend pressure. So he doesn't care about this because we've done lots of work on it. He used to be scared of it though. We're gonna start off by wiggling. He doesn't back, he even keeps the pressure, but he's backing, so he's doing good. Back, back, back. And licking and chewing is good. That means they're thinking and processing what's going on. So, back, 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 back. Good boy. All right, now that we've done our backing, I'm going to flex him. So when your horse flexes, it's when they bring their nose in and touch um, kind of like the front of their barrel area. And then make sure you do it on both sides so it's even. He's getting distracted, trying to find stuff to eat. 
Good. I'm gonna yield his hindquarters. Um, so his hindquarters are his back legs. You want their front inside foot to stay put. So his front left foot needs to stay in place. Good boy. That was not the best, but that was also my fault. Sorry, bud. Okay, we're gonna try that again. direction so I'd point to where I would want him to go if he didn't go that way at first I would tilt my head and I would kiss and if he still didn't go I'd smack the ground with this point and if they get in your space you can tap them on the shoulder with this so they don't run you over He's still learning how to do this, but he's getting better at it. It's just gonna take some time. So you establish your direction. So next. Go. It's a mare. You make an L shape. So. Oh. So I walked in front of his driveline and then I backed up to invite him in. So you want them to stop and turn to you and sit there and chill until you ask them to go. You don't want them to immediately go and you want two eyes, not two heels because two heels equals disrespect. So, might even ask him to back, 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 back. You gotta step, you gotta step. So, that was good. Ah, 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 ah. So he did the wrong thing. Oh. So I'm gonna try and invite him in. There we go. You shorty, we can't even see your mouth. We'll do a manual smile. Oh. Oh. Black Friday is coming up so fast, and I am so excited because 
I'm either buying a new camera for pictures for Instagram and just photography in general, or I'm buying a laptop. So we'll see what happens. You guys vote in the comments what I should get. Um, I'm wanting to get the MacBook Air for this year or the MacBook Pro. It's my own money. I've saved it up. I have a couple of jobs I've been doing and I don't have an allowance. So don't be like, oh my gosh, you're so spoiled. It's my money. Yeah. We haven't been in the round pen in a while, have we, Max? Making flex. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel down below by hitting that big red subscribe button. I'll be doing a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. Hopefully that's soon. And I'm excited. Um, so make sure you guys comment down below some ideas of what you would like me to give away. See you guys in the next video. He's eating my hair, so this is fun. Peace out. Bye. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I